Yeah. Morning everybody. Morning. Bit of a different place this morning. <laughs> mm. I assume you've seen the video from yesterday. Um, when we went to Weatherby to see our kid and Jane. And we had a little bit of a walk around that river and that. Oh, very nice, wasn't it, Pat? Yeah, it was very interesting yeah some nice it's a nice shopping centre isn't it nice yeah. um thriving nice place and no shut down at no, all has it no and there's a lot of individual shops in yeah. weatherby yeah fact, there is is there any multinationals in weatherby uh, there's morrison's yeah the there. supermarkets um, but the, the, the shops no they're pretty pretty um mm individual thing yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah it looked I mean, to be quite a thriving yeah. little town i mean a few of them have changed from when we used to go around with your mum but they've been taken over by other little cafes or something and still looks thriving as you say it's a very wealthy area yeah we drove through uh, Linton, Linton, just on the edge oh. of Weatherby, and that very thing. big houses there, mm. and big mm. gardens, and what a money all kept nice. The area. In fact, I think that was Linton Station we were parked yeah. in. Yeah, which used to be the, <clears throat> the beginning of the film was what used to be the railway station. Mm. Uh, but it's a good spot to. Park the motor home. Mm. You really couldn't park anywhere else in Weatherby. Well, I don't know. I thought that car park your Stanley were parked in were a big one. It were a big one, but it were a lot in there, and it's the it's the the access in, mm. it's the roadway in between the where the going round the cars. Yeah. Um. It's all all about that. It's not just the 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 area. Right. It's how it's laid out. Right. It wouldn't have been any good for us. Okay. Um, and the other one, down by the river, that's you go down some steep, down a steep hill, and you have to come up a steep hill to get out. Well, it's on, an yeah. airpin bend on a, on, yeah, a, on a hill. Bad. Very narrow, and then yeah. another airpin at the top mm. to get out. If you're a bit smaller, I mean, the, the vans do park down there, but not as big as ours. And if you went and parked in, you'd have to mm. take up two spaces. Yeah. And they're so narrow that nobody mm. would be able to get out of the cars that were at the side of you. Right. Mm. Mm. Well, there's a big Morrison's car park, isn't there, at the back? Well, that's all I suppose. <laughs> at least the damn didn't get it down there with car parks. <laughs> I know where I can park and where I can't park. <laughs> I don't know whether there's anywhere else. There might be. Various places. But no, there were a... Stephen had a fine one. Yeah. From... Yeah. Um, country Van Life. Yeah, country Van Life. You know. Country Van Life UK calls it now. Oh, right. Has it changed? Yeah, it used right. to be Country Van Life TV. Right. Mm. And that, the last clip of Pat in the pub was in Rodley here at the Owl. We yeah. called in. Just for a <coughs> glass of Coke and a and half, half a... Half a... Yeah. Half a Moretti. I said, what do you want to do? Do you want to go to Cafe Fresh? Get an ice cream... Or a nice lolly from Ice Cream Man on the canal, or go to a pub. Go to a pub for a beer. <laughs> go to a pub for a beer, of course. <laughs> no competition. Yeah. Because <clears throat> there's always an ice cream van on um, canal. canal, isn't there? Yeah. Well, just about. I think. And yeah. it's nice. Um, there is a little cafe up the canal, but I, I don't know whether. When he opens, he's, um, I think he lives on boat, doesn't he? And he, he owns that bit of land mm. opposite. Yeah. 
know, has a cafe in there, or outside tables. There you go. Mm. Yeah. We've had a few coffee and cakes in there. Yeah. Various times. How are you getting on with these? This new way. I'm having to any videos that are not us just sitting here talking. The um, the editor can't cope with it. It it just three gets three quarters of the way through it and it just gives up. Just can't do it. Some message or other comes up. Can't remember what it said. So I'm having to any other and th this video of us chatting. I, I have to upload it direct. It, I never edit it anyway, it goes up as it is. Mm. So it's going up straight from the phone. Whereas the the other bits and pieces that we do, uh, when we're back in the van, moving about and stuff, that'll have to be a separate video, not attached to this. Because it, it just can't handle it. I just wondered how you're getting on with it. Mm. Um, <clears throat> yeah. The, it, this camera on this this new phone does definitely seem to work better. It's mm, clearer, yeah. um, it's a wider scope on it. And, and when I was walking yesterday, it didn't seem to be jerking about at all. Uh, I didn't have it in gimbal, I just was carrying it. So um, mm. it's pretty good for that. Yeah, so, it must have a bit more of a stabiliser in. Like yeah. Wendy's. Wendy's is quite good, isn't it, for that? Yeah. Wendy and Graham's. Yeah. Um, the raffle is up to 110. Mm. I'm going to put a, a link in the description on this video. If any of you want to um, try and win the drawing, enter the raffle. Um, there's a link in the description. Yeah, mm. uh, uh, if there's new people who don't understand it, it, it if it don't reach two hundred, um, there's still a winner, but you only get the winner gets seventy five percent of the money that's raised, whereas. You're nudging me. <laughs> Playing with your thumbs. <laughs> you were picking your fingers. She's, uh, she's nudging me, but she's playing with yeah, her. I had to move my hands to, to nudge you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, we're pathetic, aren't we? Where was I before? Can't keep I was... hands full. Yeah, about winning the raffle. Yeah. Um, um, you get seventy five. Five percent of the money that's raised. Sorry. And I I keep the picture. That's how it that's how it's working. So it's you need some more to get it up to two hundred for somebody to get the drawing. Um that's that. That is that. I've been communicating with Nigel from oh. Australia. The, the the guy who ran Fever Products in Pudsey, who since Tracy put me drawing on Facebook, he's been in touch with me, emailed me. Mm. They are in Australia. They've been, yeah. been there since the 80s. Mm. And, mm. and believe it or not, they're still running, he's running a frame, picture framing shop and a gallery. Wow. In Fremantle, in Australia. Yeah. I need to have a look on the the atlas to see where it is. Mm. Fremantle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah the <laughs> YouTube's incredible. Isn't yeah. It? Well, it, I How suppose it will. Facebook will that, won't it? Mm. Really. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think he's just about to. Retire, is he? Or he says he's going to retire next year next and let the lad run it. Mm. The lad's running it. Yeah. Big lad, and, and he's going to tour. He's going to tour Australia in a camper van. Is he? Yeah. Oh wow! 
Yeah. All I have to do is a little vlog then. Yeah. And let us know. Yeah, I wonder if he'll start a vlog. How he's doing. Mm. Letter. Letter. And Pat's a... No, it's oh, from it's me. from you, tell me. It's from me on the 2nd of February, 1967. Didn't get a... My darling Pat, didn't get a letter from you today. So this one won't be very long. Last night I met Jock at the Naffy and there was Jock O'Reilly there and it was his 21st. Also, he was posted to Aden today oh. and he got promotion so he was having a celebration. Mm. Aden, that's an old one, isn't it? Don't mm. go there anymore. Yeah. We all joined in, of course. He had bought seven bottles of champagne, Ooh. four bottles of port and two bottles of brandy. We went through the lot in three hours. Oh, wow. Wow. About six of us clubbed together and bought him a tablet of soap, uh. a pair of cufflinks and a Ronson cigar lighter. It was a good night. Wow. Today I've been in my store all morning sorting some kit out that has just come with the new Ark. This afternoon I went to watch a football match. Anybody don't know what the Ark is? It was a tank. Um, as we got the afternoon off. Tonight I will go up to the roundhouse and have a meal and then go to the pits. I'm a bit fed up because Andy is on leave. I don't know what to do with myself. Never mind, only four weeks and four days to go until we start living again. You must be coming on now. Yeah. I am missing you very much and I'll be glad when it's March. We are going on a two-week scheme from the 4th to the 21st of March. So it should pass by pretty quick, for me that is. Poor you. You will be fed up. I hope you think it's worth it though. Anyway, I'm afraid that's all I can think of to say, except I love you. All my fondest love to my sweetheart Pat from your loving boyfriend Trev. P.S. I am going to book a phone call tonight but I will let you know when it will be. It's only for three minutes, love, but that's long enough to tell you I love you. Oh. Mm. Very good. Yeah. Who's that one from? You. Next one. Yeah. Right. There you go. We're there. <laughs> Scheme season. Yeah. Has started. Yeah. Off you go, get muddy. <laughs> oh dear, no Taking washing. That arc out. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I would have, I would have been a wily up then. Would you? Wireless oh yeah, yeah, because she hadn't been promoted ever by then. Hadn't been, hadn't done the driver course no. by then. Mm. Um, mm. I can't remember who Jock O'Reilly was. Mm. I can't remember the names. I know I remember Frankie Beadle and I always remember my roommate. But, um no not not Paul. Paul Paul Lucing. Paul Lucing, he got posted out somewhere. He'd been to Christmas Island. Oh, oh, he must have been my roommate at that time because um, he was on the course with me. Oh, what a... Yeah, right. and Paul. He was a real nice lad. Mm. And then he got posted out somewhere and another 
uh, lad got put into my room with me and uh, he was the, the lad who um, finished up um, getting a medical discharge. Oh. He had um, liver sclerosis. Oh. He used to drink a bottle of uh, Bacardi every day. Oh dear. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But when I were in Chatham getting my discharge, my demob, he was in, he, he'd been in Chatham Hospital. And he, 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 they'd given him three months to live. Wow. Only, oh, he were older than me, but he was still only in his yeah. probably early thirties. Mm. Yeah, wow. I think I was twenty, twenty-two or three or something when I got out of the army. Twenty-three it'd have been, I think. Oh, well, when I got out. Well, we got married when you was twenty. Twenty, and your birthday was. Well, Oh, yeah. Beginning of that year, I don't think you were that old. No, I won't, no, because that mm. were in 68. Yeah, and, and it you got out 70. in 70. So that would have been, yeah, I'd have been, been about 22. 22. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, 22. Yeah. 22. Somewhere around there. Yeah. So, ah. anything else to say, sweet? My weight stopped at eight stone. I haven't gone down anymore. No. Um, I did go. Um, no, I haven't had any more stomach trouble. No, you haven't, have you? No, since we got back. You did have some fish and mushy peas yesterday. You took the skin off, didn't you? I didn't eat the batter. I had fish, mushy peas, and um, summer pats chips. Just about five. Mm, but you were all right, weren't you last night? I was fine last night. Mm. And I got, I got a bag of um, oh, cashew, cashew nuts and cranberry. Um, to nibble on. Uh, yeah, because apparently cashew nuts are, are good, are good for this, whatever it is. Well, I don't know what I've got really, do I? No. Um, no. But I'm trying to eat without. Yeah. Causing any trouble? Yeah, without but, getting pains. Well, I, I um, I looked in the mirror last night when I was brushing my teeth, and I, I, I loaded the toothbrush on. I went like that to brush my teeth, and I, and I was, oh, I really noticed I'd lost weight on your face. On my face. Yeah. Yeah. What a shock. Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I've been all right for about a fortnight now. Yeah, yeah. Whether that's cutting a lot of dairy out, I don't know. Yeah, or yeah. Whether it's just, it's, we, we are trying to be careful and not eat too much fried stuff. Mm, and not eating fried stuff or yeah. dairy. Yeah. So well, there we are. Yeah, I can smell bacon now. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We've I've had yogurt and fruit and you've had uh, rice krispies, haven't you, with some soya Brand milk. Brand milk. <coughs> soya milk. Mm. Never thought this day would come. <laughs> it's like having your teeth in <laughs> At your <laughs> Having your teeth. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> well, you can only eat certain things when you've got no teeth. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, that'd cap it all, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Lost all my teeth. Yeah. Um, Definitely yeah, we, have to stop doing videos then. Yeah, we've, we've still got our own teeth at the moment, haven't we? Yeah, we have. <laughs> Even though they're yeah. a bit. Um, Temperamental at times. There's some photographs behind me, though. Isn't any of those? Um, what are you? No, the the uh, Tracy at the end there with Adie when he were were young, and the mainly there's Alethea in the middle. Um, and 
And this year's grandma and granddad. There's one of me there standing in front of one of my paintings when I was working on it, down in the studio, the room below here actually. That's Tracy holding Alethea. I think that was a, a, oh, Matthew's, Matthew's wedding, wedding, our kid's outside, son's wedding, yeah. Outside York Minster. Mm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so I think we'll better end this video. Yeah. Okay, so we'll see you again tomorrow all being well. Bye. Bye.